हेलो यूट्यूब चेस लवर्स इन माई फ्रेंड्स दिस इज गुंजन हियर वेलकम टू द ट्वेंटी एथ एपिसोड ऑफ माई चेस ट्रैप सीरीज इन दिस एपिसोड आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू अ इंटरेस्टिंग ट्रैप इन द फ्रेंच दरास क्लोज वेरिएशन फ्रॉम द ब्लैक प्रस्पेक्टिव द ओपनिंग अराइज आफ्टर द फॉलोइंग मॉडर ई फोर ई सिक्स डी फोर डी फाइव एंड नाउ द टिपिकल तराश मू नाइट टू डी टू द आइडिया इज इफ ब्लैक प्लेस बिशप टू बी फोर then c3 and white can easily unpin the knight so that's why the main line runs with the move knight to f6 pressurizing the e4 e5 grabbing the space in the center and after knight f to d7 we reach to the typical french defense structure where as a black you want to quickly play c5 and undermine the white pawn chain and on the counterpart white wants to put his pieces actively and look for the king side attack bishop to d3 c5 and now c3 consolidating the center black obviously pressurized the d4 square with knight to c6 and white plays a knight to e2 this move is more logical as i have highlighted over here later on white has good knight maneuvering which help to create king side attack Okay at this point black exchange in the center c captures d4 c captures d4 and now played this thematic break f6 which undermines the white center At this position as i have highlighted over here white should continue with either knight to f4 or e captures f6 which is completely fine but when i check this position in online database i found out that here there are more than 350 games continue with f4 and some of them are very recent unfortunately for white this is not an accurate move and this leads to our trappy line black should continue with f captures e5 and now white has two choices let's look at first of all what happens if your opponent continue with f captures e5 which is more natural in this position but this leads to straight away into our dark trap tunnel can you spot black's next move yes it's very obvious and thematic bam <laughs> so just within 10th move of the game black wins the pawn and Okay black has to know some accurate sequence after this but overall later on this extra pawn do counts White has tried two options here but none of them work very well The first response we need to know what happens if white take this piece and captures d4 well after that the queen check and obviously after g3 black is going to regain the piece but white can argue that he has some initiative with knight to f3 so black need to play some careful moves to consolidate his advantage now bishop to b4 is the most popular choice here however it's inaccurate due to the king f1 so my recommendation is here black should continue with queen to b6 and after some accurate response such as queen to c2 attacking on h7 g6 defending king to f1 so king is heading towards to g2 square which is very safe after that black should immediately attack the bishop with knight to c5 bishop to e3 pinning down the knight and then queen to b4 indeed threatening knight captures d3 so white needs to preserve the bishop pair with bishop to e2 but that allows knight to e4 and that knight is wonderfully placed at the center of the board fortunately i reached this position against a national master in a 5 minute game and i think this game is a moral demonstration how black can continue from here white continue with king to g2 i continue with bishop to d7 and now my opponent played rook h to c1 Okay as i have seen no threats i continue with bishop to g7 and my opponent played a very tricky move queen to b3 
Well, I was more than happy to exchange the queen because after queen takes, pawn takes. Okay, I have some pressures, but I think I can easily neutralize as after a6, my opponent revealed his nasty idea that is rook to c7. Attacking on b7, it is just a matter of consolidation. So I played rook to b8 and my opponent double up on the c file. So at first sight, it looks somewhat threatening, but after black's next reply, that is king to e7, I think black is a healthy pawn up and there is hardly any compensation for the white. He played bishop to d3, I played rook h to c8, and here we both were in the time trouble, and I think he miscalculated because what he played is rook captures, rook captures, rook captures, bishop captures, bishop captures e4, pawn captures e4, and now knight to g5, which at first sight looks so impressive because not only it's regained the pawn, but it attacked the two spots. But after the following sequence, that is bishop captures e5, knight captures h7, bishop captures b2, knight to g5. So white is trying to gain his pawn back, but in that process, he forgot that after the move b5, knight captures e4 and bishop to b7, it's a game over time because after king to f3 and a5, my opponent simply resigned because not only black is a clear pawn up, but there is a monster pawn running on the a file, which is not easy to stop. The second try by white here is castle on the king side, but this is hardly a good option because after queen to b6, black is already looking to give a discover check. So white response is almost forced. He has to play king to h1. And after that, we can simply play knight captures e5, grabbing the second pawn and asking white, are you serious about your business? Okay, knight captures d4, queen captures d4, bishop to b5 check, bishop to d7, bishop captures d7. And at this point, black need to be careful as after knight captures d7, queen to h5 check is a very deadly reply. So black has to capture with the king and after knight to f3, knight captures f3, queen captures f3 and bishop to e7. Yes, of course, white has managed to keep black king in the center, but two pawn, I don't think so, that is enough compensation. Black can easily regroup his position and later on, this extra two center pawns are the winning asset for the black. I have attached a model game in this position which will give you a very good idea how to play as a black in this position. Last but not least, what happens if your opponent captures with the d pawn? Well, in this case, the straightforward advantage is black immediately get the bishop pair after knight to c5. If bishop to b1, then queen to b6 and white cannot castle. So as per the engine, the best reply here is bishop to c2. But after that, black can continue with knight to b4. And now bishop to b1 is not a possibility due to the knight check. So best reply is castle on the king side. Afterwards, we can simply take this bishop and after queen takes, queen to b6, king to h1, and bishop to e7, black obtain a bishop pair, and as the light square bishop is exchanged, there is no danger on the king side. That's it guys, I hope you enjoy and learn this nasty trap in the Tarash with knight captures d4, and after this, however white plays, it's only black who is in the driver's seat, and with some accurate play, you can easily convert into the full point. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to like, subscribe and comment on my video and I'll meet you in my next episode very soon. Bye and take care.